Sports. I'm James Sabalski. It is round one of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Game one on tap tonight. Both teams are lined up and we are set to get things going. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Here's a chance. Comes up with a stop. Takes the stretch pass in the open ice. Shot. And he comes up big with the stick save. Getting all of it with the paddle. Long pass up ahead to center. Puts it on net. How did he stop that one? Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. And that goes off course off a body. Deflected in front. And that's stopped by the goaltender. Great save to stay with it. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. Still looking for the game's first goal as we are underway in the second. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? No one really being instinctually aggressive out there, James. Everyone just making sure that they're in good defense or posture. But when you're in that kind of structure, sometimes you don't jump and the loose puck is there for the taking and you don't get going north. As a result, there haven't been many shots in this game. And I got to say, it's not very entertaining. Handles the pass up to the middle of the ice. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Passes out front. And it scores! First career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. There's so many ebbs and flows in a playoff series, James. You want to make sure that you get on the board first. Well, mission accomplished here right away. They're dictating pace. Nizenkamp's gone up by one here in the second period. Well, it's been a lot of hard work and heavy lifting to get to this point, just to get that one goal lead, James. Not only do they want to hold on to it, they want to extend it now. Oh, what a hit on the wall. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Denies him with the pad. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. But the coach isn't going to be happy with this penalty. You have a one goal lead, and now you find yourself back on your heels, and the penalty kill has to come out into a job. Make need, of course, set in their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, they earn this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Forces the turnover in the defensive side. Magneta Gorse moving it into the offensive end. What a hit against the wall there. Picking up momentum across the zone here on the right side. Scores! Well, how's that for killing a penalty? That's turning a PK into a power kill, James. Not just shooting it down the ice. If you have time and space, take advantage with a shorty. What a shot. Top shelf, stick, side. Real difficult for the goaltender to make this save. But he drops a little bit early, and that just gives a little bit of leeway to the shooter. The Nationals are now up by two here in the late goings of period number two. And Cheryl, I really like their game tonight. I love their game. They were playing so creative, James. They're holding the majority of possession. It's all come not only with their puck possession, the player with the puck, but how about their work off the puck? They have so much support, and they're taking it to the net. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and toss up the puck. That's off a stick. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Fantastic save. They are really buzzing here in the offensive end. 
And they finally clear the zone, easing up all that pressure. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Sets it out front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. What a steal in his own end. Delayed penalty coming up here. Sends a pass over. Magneto Gorse got it across the line. There's the whistle, and here's the call. The Nationals have been handed two for interference. The Mallards send their man advantage unit out once more. Power play chance right here, and an opportunity to redeem themselves after that shorty they gave up earlier. Nissen Kent's won the draw. Handles the puck. Takes control of the puck. Big time stop. Oh, what a smart heads up play. Big time stop. They just keep coming in waves here in the offensive end. That's blocked. Oh, what a save. Shot. Oh, that hits the cage. That's using your head. They tend to try and make themselves as big as possible, and it usually hits other parts of the ball. Scores! It's in the back of the net, and it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in this playoffs, and you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. The goaltenders are just so good in this league, James. If they see the shot, they are going to stop it. And so you got to get traffic in front of the net on this power play. They do an excellent job of getting bodies in front of the paint. Magneta Gorse got one back here late in period number two. Now, can they even things up? They need to get the equalizer. And the best way to do it is stay connected as a five-player unit. They did real well in that scenario, in that last sequence to get that goal. They'll need to continue where they left off. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And they get the extra attacker out as the goaltender gets to the bench. From the back of the cage with the puck. Let's see the call here. When you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're shorthanded. They're going to have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. The Nationals will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice, the setup, the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Skates to the crease. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Oh, score! And that's his first goal of the postseason ever. And he'll take it. It's much needed too, James. You get to the playoffs, you want to make sure that your teammates have trust in you and you have trust in yourself because you want to be an impact player. That's a nice start. It's amazing at an emotional charge and what it can do for your team in particular when someone who scores it does the dirty work. They work hard, they're courageous in their play, and they exhibit the intangible. The Nationals really got to be feeling good about themselves after that goal here late in the second, Cheryl. Yeah, I love the way they played. I mean, they've been aggressive. They competed in all areas, and now they've got that two-goal cushion heading into the intermission. This will provide a lot of energy to close out the third. Nissen Kent's got the puck along the wall. Whistling shot, and he hangs on just as time runs out. Two periods down, one more to go. Both teams have time to get a refresh. <laughs> teams are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. Well, the moment of truth for both teams here as we are underway in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Magnitogor has got to have a fresh start in this third period, James. They haven't been urgent, and they've been chasing the entire game. And I could tell that right from puck drop in the first period. They weren't urgent off of the faceoff. They weren't where they needed to be. And it's looked like that all game long. They need to change it now if they want to get back in this one. But it has to be replaced because it's always about safety first. Nissen Kemp's got it, and they're on the attack. 
He tips it. Oh, bold move by the goaltender as he pokes it away. Sends the pass over. Stopped by the goaltender. Couldn't catch up to that pass. in his veins, and he knows the timing. When his team needs something, they look to him, and he answers. Make it, of course, it's got to be feeling good about themselves now, making this a one-goal game. Bench is up and stick taps all the way around, getting within one goal in the third period. You know how important this face-off is to get possession and start attacking in the ozone. Here's a chance! It comes up empty. Here's a shot! And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Quick pass to Keshnikov. Scores! And that's three! It's a hat trick here on the road! Well, old hat for him in a way because it's a business-like approach as he's on the road. He just says, yeah, just bring it. I mean, gets a hattie to boot. Well, just fantastic hands to be able to pull the goaltender to the side that he wants and then to just lay it home. He doesn't even have to elevate the puck. He uses the low part of the net. Here in the late goings of the period, Nizzen Kemp's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Magneta Gorse's got to start to recognize a sense of urgency here. They continue to trail late in the third and have had plenty of chances, but can't finish. The Mallards will play it in their own end. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Magneta Gorse trailing. That's why they've got the extra score! themselves as a playoff performer while the rookie an impressive start to leading a lasting impression with the extra attacker with the goalie pull they have the coverage running and they certainly find the opportunity to get it to the middle of the ice and man do they bury it teams are lined up and we are ready to take this draw And after the draw at center, they've got a hold of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Johnson. Magneta Gorse got the puck against the boards. Big screaming for a shot as the clock winds down. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. And that's all she wrote from this one here tonight. Look, a series is not won or lost with the opening game, but Cheryl, I'd much rather have that win. Yeah, everyone would, wouldn't they? I mean, it's such a long season. You play it, but then when you get to the playoffs, you know, there's a different set of nerves. There's energy. You know, you're in a series that's do or die, and you got to figure out a way to get on top. To get that first game under your belt just settles everyone in, and you've got the leg up now on your opponent. Real nice start. That'll do it from rinkside here this evening. From all of us here at EA Sports, my name is James Sabalski.